So JJ Abrams is getting into the video game business, and this is what we're gonna talk about today on Collider News. All right, uh, Joey, uh, you are new to Collider News? Yeah, 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 I'm over here from Collider Games, and we get something to talk about. We have uh, bad robot games coming up. I've played plenty of bad robot games. Dynasty Warriors Gundam was a pretty bad robot game. Zoids Assault was a bad robot uh, yeah. game. Is I that don't think we're, we're talking about, no, that's not what oh, we're talking okay, about. okay, gotcha, gotcha. We're talking about J.J. Abrams, his production company, Bad Robot. They announced today, Brian uh, Weinstein, who's the president, company president and CEO, announced today that they're getting into a partnership with Tencent, uh, which is this giant Chinese media company that uh, I guess technically is the number one. Uh, yeah, they're they're producing quite a bit, and so they're they're in tandem with uh, Chair as a developer, correct? Mm -hmm. Um, so Chair is the, the with the developers of uh, Infinity Blade, which was a big mobile game a while back. And uh, I know that there was a point where Bad Robot or well J.J. Abrams and Chair were in talks to do a game called Spy Jinx. Mm -hmm. That was about two years ago. And uh, they said it was going to be Unreal Engine, and you know that didn't tell us much about it because so many things are done in an Unreal Engine these days. And uh, we haven't heard a lot from the game. I don't think we ever got gameplay two years ago. Certainly none, uh, you know, now. Maybe we're going to get something at E3. Yeah, I don't know. I know uh, Bad Robots had announced a partnership with Valve, maybe I think in 2013, that they were going to possibly produce a Half-Life or Portal uh, Interesting. video game movie. So far, we haven't seen anything from that. The only thing that I've seen so far is that... Um, the director of that Portal fan film, uh, Dan Trackenberg, right, he right. ended up uh, directing Ten the Cloverfield Lane. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a tie in there, but I, we haven't heard anything about that. But this way around, Bad Robot is actually going to be developing games, possibly with one of their franchises like a Cloverfield or something like that. Well, I think that there have been plenty of uh, hints and nods to the fact that J.J. Abrams is a game fan, plenty of people at Bad Robot are game fans, and if we're going to see content coming out from them, I would love to see the kind of things that we're getting from, like, Telltale, where mm -hmm. we're getting really heavy narrative stuff. Not so much focused on gameplay mm -hmm. and things like that, because when you're coming from such a narrative-based production company, Maybe you don't want to focus on working in a new medium and trying to get, you know, gameplay stuff uh, locked away. If they focus on narrative stuff and they give us narrative experiences, I'm all for Bad Robot Games. Yeah. Well, uh, JJ Abrams uh, had a quote today. He said, uh, I'm a massive games fan and increasingly envious of the amazing tools developers get to work with and the worlds they get to play in. Now we are doubling down on our commitment to the space with a unique co-development approach to game making that allows us to focus on what we do best and hopefully be a meaningful multiplier to our developer partners. Dave's creativity, deep passion, and skill for leadership will be incredibly valuable as we harness our partner Tencent's expertise, experience, and reach to bring our games to audiences around the world. So it sounds like that's kind of what they're doing. They're not going to focus on like the gameplay or the, the actual like technicalities of, of programming these type of games. And they're probably going to focus on what you're talking about, storytelling and narrative, and then working together with Tencent to make these type of games. Right. And so working with uh, with Chair as well, and they said that there's a, a bit of a minority holding by uh, WB Games as well, um, you know, who've done things with Rocksteady and they work it plenty in Unreal Engine. And so you really see the difference, like what I was saying, Unreal Engine doesn't really tell us much because it could be anything from uh, Arkham City to Infinity Blade. Mm -hmm. um, and the, honestly, we are going to get something. It's going to be cool. We're, we're going to see what it is. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's our thoughts on the news of J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot getting into the video game business. Uh, let us know what you think. You can post your comments below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Collider Videos. And we'll see you guys next time. And be sure to check out our oh, new YouTube channel, yes. Collider, Collider Games. Yes, youtube.com slash Collider Games. We're going to be at E3 next week covering all that. And we got a special guest host, Jeremy Johns, that's going to be there with us as well. And we're smooth as hell.